I think, of course, China and the United States were big countries, were important players in the world. And we should show to the global community that we can work with each other on global issues. So in this sense, maybe we can talk about leadership. But I think a better choice of a word would be partnership. Mm. Because China always believes that all countries, no matter how big or how small they may be, are all equals. So we should base our cooperation on the principle of equality and mutual respect for everyone. Not only between China and the United States, but for all the other countries. But still, if China and the United States can cooperate on these important issues and manage our possible differences in a constructive way, this again will give people of other countries greater confidence for a better future of the world. Greater confidence for countries. What about greater hope for people? Yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. Actually, if you look around, you see in today's world there are quite a number of issues in almost all countries. Domestic governance, disparity of wealth in many societies. People tend to talk about competition among the great powers, or rivalry or whatever, and they talk about this trap or that trap. But actually, I believe, at least for most countries, the most important challenge is at home. Domestic governance, how to give people better hope, how to give people better opportunities, how to address the issue of disparity of wealth. On the whole, we are creating a lot more wealth than before. But still, there are groups of people, not only between countries, but also within societies, they have not benefited from this newly created wealth. They are not happy about that. So the issue of poverty. I think as long as we can, each country can run itself very well, then global issues will be easier. You mentioned emotions, which is why it's always so interesting yeah. to listen to you speak. You talk about the unhappiness that people feel naturally after the impact of income disparity also creates a social gap yeah. between people, even in the same city, even here yeah. Yeah. in Washington, D.C. Yeah. Um, China is no different in that respect, a country that has achieved an economic miracle of its own kind. But to all people, to all humanity, what would you say to them about how they can improve their lot in life? even if they were born in difficult economic and social circumstances, even if they're struggling today in a society that's not always kind, that can sometimes can be very cruel. You've lived around the world. You studied in the United States down the road at Johns yeah. Hopkins, for example. So you have a very wide span and detailed view. What would you say to all of these people? And what would you share with them in terms of establishing hope in such a difficult time today in human history? I think maybe every country has its own problems and challenges and has to find its own solutions. For instance, in the United States, we are seeing the polarization of politics here almost every day. Although I'm not supposed to make comments on the domestic politics here, but you are seeing these things every day. So that's why we in China, we are fully aware of the need to address these economic and social issues, to make this economic and social transition smooth and beneficial to the people. That's why we have as our goal the aspiration of people for a better life. We believe this should always remain our goal. And also that's why we have give such priority to the eradication of poverty. 
this year, 2020, will lift everybody above the poverty line. And we are paying so much attention to the environment. So in China, we are doing our best to address these issues. We are trying to achieve a balanced development in economic, political, social, cultural, and environmental areas.